Hey. Hey, it's three. It's three yeah, nippers. I know. We're trying to figure out how I to should have worn people. green, I guess. <laughs> you didn't get the green memo, did you? I don't <laughs> have a green sweater. I don't oh, yeah. think. Well, well, no. blue, blue and green. Blue yeah. and green. Oh, that is so pretty. Mm. Thank I know. You. Mm -hmm. And I like her blue blouse. I might have to Looks take like it off It's pretty warm. Yeah. In here. Uh, <laughs> yep. It's a toasty ah. spot. <clears throat> hey, welcome. Welcome to um, our weekly podcast, Knit at the Bar. And today we have a special guest. So I'm Linda and Sue. And this is Hannah Ginn from Circus Tonic. I had to really work hard at correcting, not saying... I'm not saying gin. gin. Yeah. <laughs> well, we are at the bar. So. Yeah, I know. It makes so much sense. <sighs> We're so lucky to have Hannah here. She's Thank you. All the she's from far, far away. Yeah, far, far, <laughs> far away. I live in Adelaide. <laughs> <Trick>. <laughs> the land of yeah, far, far away. All the green. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, we've traveled up here to Montana to visit Yarn Bar. So we have had a lot of fun. It's been, it's been wonderful. It's I been know. such a great it's trip. Every... So much I fun. love that there's actually some unex well expected connections, but unexpected mm. connections as well. Yeah. So. Well, that's the yeah. that's the yarn community, isn't it? Like it, you dig under the surface, and we all well, we're all so similar, but mm -hmm. we it's a small community, and that's what I love about it. That is wonderful. Yeah. I yeah. couldn't agree more. Yeah. Could not agree more. We have we're going to be chatting with Hannah about her yarn, which is lovely. Oh, we have, yeah, um, a lot of fun. Uh, we mm -hmm. might get into some other miscellaneous things with Hannah, too. Um, but we have a few little housekeeping things. Right. So, you know, that when, we do every when week. you subscribe and comment on our most uh, la latest video, you get to your name in for a prize. Mm -hmm. And so last week's uh, prize was this um, 12 skein kit from Icky Guy Fiber. Uh, with a sport weight colors. rainbow. Yep. Mm -hmm. And yes. this week's winner is Carolyn Quillacy. I hope I pronounced that Sorry, right. Sorry, Carolyn. You should totally <laughs> tell us if we're butchering it. But this is yours. So um, awesome. we'll uh, just contact us. I, we might have I your address, have address. But, um, you know, give us a, a ring or a contact we'll, so we can we'll pop um, get that to you. you. That, yeah, Maybe we talked you'll... about embroidery on knits, and we talked about smelly balls. Yes, we did talk about smelly balls. We we, um, we sold out of our smelly <laughs> we balls. We sold out of our smelly <laughs> balls. <laughs> so they're Australian, aren't they? They are. <laughs> I, I, I Now I saw the packets, and I realized I see them often hanging in cars and <laughs> yep. different colors. Yes, it, that's where you want to hang mm. them freely from your, yeah. <laughs> from your really? rear, rear view mirror. Yeah. <laughs> we have more smelly balls on the way. Uh, yes, so don't, don't, don't dismay. Despair. We'll have... <laughs> Plenty of smelly balls to stuff in your stockings <laughs> on Christmas Eve. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so they're on their way. Um, and then we have, so yesterday, Hannah was here all day. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a great, gr you know, great people wandering in yeah. to check out the yard. It was yarn. busy, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. it was fun. It was. It really was fun. Lots of people. This really time good. of year on a Monday, we're kind of like, hmm, but it was, it was mm. wonderful. So, yeah. um, and there was a door prize. Yes. For everyone who came in yesterday, and so shall I show you what's in it? Yes, 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 some yes exciting do. Things. Mm -hmm. so we made these up and sent them ahead. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can have a look. But yeah. I mean, the really, the really exciting thing, and any Aussies knowing, uh, watching will know, there's some Hague's chocolates in there. Let's see if we can. The freckles. So mm. it's a local Adelaide oh, business, it's, it's but it's Adelaide. There's, okay. There's so when you say freckles. Australia. So, Aren't these like called, are those called freckles or uh, are they the hundreds of the thousands? The actual chocolate's called a freckle, the whole oh, thing. Oh, okay. oh. hundreds and thousands. That's what we call Yeah, that's what they call hundreds the sprinkles are called yeah. hundreds and thousands. Is that an Aussie thing? Hundreds and thousands? Uh, I feel I like it. That's what we call I've them. I've never heard that. So. Yep. Because there's hundreds and oh, thousands. Oh, yeah. We often send yeah. those because of the speckle, you know, connection. And you don't know how hard it is for us to, to like, not eat them. I know. Well, there's a funny <laughs> story about for us for another time. So we've got, then we also have our custom tough woolens. Um, so a lot of Americans would know tough mm -hmm. woolens. And that's our custom scent. So there's lavender, eucalyptus, lemon, and vetiver. Nice. So it's a little hand balm. Beautiful scent. And then you've got some hoshuku lace. Pretty. And a sock set, and also one of these nice 
Um, those sachets mm -hmm. are nice. Sachets. Mm -hmm. it smells really good. Really good. So we did draw this mm -hmm. this morning, and it is Alyssa Mann. Yay! Ooh, Alyssa. Alyssa. Wow. We did meet you yesterday, yes. so congratulations. You and your little baby. Yeah. Um, and your awesome crochet jumper that you mm -hmm. had. So yeah. congratulations. You've won the Lucky Door Prize. Yay! So um, uh, one thing we asked you, because we weren't Maybe sure share these. how to <laughs> pronounce the base that we have, the... So Dathliad, Dathliad, Dathliad. Yeah. and uh, of course I didn't know what that meant. So I don't know what that and means. So, well, um, but the bases that you just talked about too, I'm not sure what they okay, mean. Okay, so either. all our bases are named, the, the, the names are named after celebrations, parties, gatherings. Um, so, you know, our first base we ever had was Revelry. Mm -hmm. Oh, that, mm -hmm. we don't actually have that one anymore. So Dathliad is actually a Welsh word for celebration party. Okay, yeah. nice. So. We just, I just kept with the theme. I love a naming convention. <laughs> I kept with the theme. Shouldn't there be like a hen party? <laughs> hen well, party. I mean, yeah, there's fate, there's there's ceremony, there's there's so many. Um, and and Hoshoku, one... that's Japanese. Okay, for yeah. celebration. That's yeah. what I thought. Yeah. Mm. Okay, that's a so, nice face. Um, and, and this one, what have we got? Krunad. Now, what was that? Was that <laughs> Irish? I can't remember now what language that is. Same thing, though. Oh, it will mean... A... Wedding and fate, fate, obviously. Mm -hmm. yeah, I party. feel like it might be in the same vein as the Daphne. Yeah, I think I maybe it is Norse. I, hmm. you, you well, what is this, so you guys? Now. What is this? Oh, this is this the is one our for next color, week. Our special color, though, mm -hmm. that, that she dyed for us. Color. Yep, the so, surprise color. Honestly, they all were surprises because yeah. we got some extra <laughs> colors too. But she yeah. has titled this "My Island Home." Yep. I'll let you talk about that. Well, this one, because I knew your daughter lives in Brisbane, and that's a, another connection between us, because I was born there, um, but it I was thinking of sort of in Queensland, you've got the barrier reef, you've got rainforests, you've got water, you've got heat, humidity, as we were talking about. <laughs> so I wanted to make these jade and turquoise colours with some, you know, there's purple, violet, gold, copper speckles. It's um, what the water looks like. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like it depends how deep it is, but that's definitely a colour you'll see a lot oh, around yeah. the Barrier Reef. So, yeah, that was what, and I think a lot of people loved it yesterday. It oh, was really yeah, good. So, they really did. So I we will be giving, when you comment, you know, of course, subscribers comment this week, and uh, we'll yeah, be drawing, we and we'll we'll give one of those away. So this yeah. is a BFL. Dathliad is a blue-faced Leicester and... Um, nylon blend so good for socks and it's got a nice tight ply Alyssa's watching so she knows she won oh good oh yeah. congratulations um so, so yeah yeah so that base is uh really good for socks mm -hmm. right yeah and they just last longer than merino Long blends lasting. um uh but they're super soft and they're it's a bit toothy so if you want to do color work so we had a lot of people sort of um picking up mm. fades or complementary colors that go nicely nice. together that would be and you gorgeous use it together for color work. yeah really pretty yeah, it just mm. fills in the gaps a little bit more this is so. a nice base we have um we don't have this as a for a sock base and uh, except mm. for yours yeah and i love having that it take it yeah. seems like it takes the dye um it, pretty well it, it does. really nice way it is subtle yeah isn't it? it's not sort it's of not, so woo. blary i mean mm -hmm. i can sort of i try to do a few nice sort of really speckly mm -hmm. fun ones that people love but on the whole you get a water color kind of theme mm -hmm. yeah i like so. that somebody did ask us because we posted something about you know <clears throat> ask a question ask any questions oh, yeah? and we did get one that was um what inspires you oh wow well, a lot of things travel for one, mm -hmm. which is why I'm here. Um, but mainly, most of my inspiration will come from Australian fauna and flora. So, and minerals, I um, have a science background. So I do like doing deep dives into um, specific themes. So I've done a whole ranges of butterflies, Australian mm. native butterflies. Oh. Um, shells is another really good one for neutrals for sweaters mm -hmm. um i mean if you can think of it like gemology heaps and heaps of different things i um i pull from and even space themes that's you know different planets mm -hmm. and moons and moons on planets like there's <laughs> the, it just goes and goes and goes 
Um, cause I, I dislike having sort of generic names. I want mm -hmm. it to mean something and I want collections to be cohesive. So when you pick a proper theme, um, so I did sort of native, um, Orchids, say naked, mm. naked or naked, mm. naked, naked orchids, orchids. <laughs> <laughs> native orchids of Eastern Australia, and they're all very unique. You don't get them anywhere else in the world, um, and you have to sort of look for them as well. So I collect old books. I collect reference books, mm -hmm. old science books, guide books, um, botanical illustrations, and then oh, that nice. also helps with the photography. So yeah, you you stick to a theme helps with the naming. And I feel like they're unique. Mm -hmm. so, they are. Yeah, so that's what inspires me. Bits and bobs around. But even herbs in my garden. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a novice gardener. And um, I'm hoping this month that we're away, it all survives. Because it's getting pretty hot at home. <laughs> but I did a sock set on the strawberries that we've just oh, grown. Oh, nice. Things like that. And I think when I see them in nature and I pick colours, they will go together. Usually if you, put, if you mm -hmm. stick with nature and you, you stick with colours that you see that you like together, they will translate in the dye pots as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I so that's, that's good. That's how I work. Do you, and you live very near a beach. <coughs> yes, Is, Are do. there good shells at that beach? There are a couple. Oh. Um, because it's sort of a, it's an, I guess you would say a peninsula, there aren't lots and lots of different okay. shells. But you, you know, you, the harder you look. We have a lot of ones that you turn over and they're quite sort of rainbow and, mm, you know, these mm -hmm. sorts of colours oh, pretty. inside. Um, and we get a lot, a few jellyfish as well that are really interesting mm -hmm. to look at. Um, and crabs. <laughs> we get blue, blue. swimmer crabs. Those yeah. crabs so this, were this pretty. Blue, yeah. That's amazing. I was showing the ladies the blue swimmer crabs you know, we can catch right, just right off the beach. It's, it's pretty cool. They're it's pretty cool blue. Spot. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then they go this really vibrant orange, you know, when they when you cook them. So <laughs> they match up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Right across the spectrum. And what kind of dyes? You were talking about your dyes that you mm -hmm. use. Yeah, so I use a local um, Australian made dye. Okay. And what I, it's been really interesting. I I do collect a lot of hand dyed yarn and I did know already that our dye is quite different to to what you guys have here. Um, and it's interesting to see the different effects and ours are sort of a bit more subtle mm -hmm. depending on how I dye it. If I want really strong speckles, um, I'll use less water and let not agitate the pans at all. Maybe do the cooking a little bit hotter. Um, and then if I want the more watercolour look, I'll even... This probably has sort of seven or eight different colours. Mm, really? Some of them mm, wow. are mm -hmm. the dye powder diluted into water in that a solution. Is beautiful. And uh, often then I will mix it with dry powder as well, different concentrations. Um, and then sometimes I'll even mix them all together, or sometimes I'll let them settle and not move them. Mm -hmm. So it just it creates a a, a different look to the to the hand dyes you have here from the different dye companies and mm -hmm. our dyes have citric acid added in already whereas you have to add yours so it just creates a different look which I think is nice because it's, it's something different I agree mm. yeah it's beautiful so. we visited with Hannah about our next order it's so nice to have yeah. you here to yeah, do that. Yeah, I know. Really and it was, we're definitely going to need another order. I know. Yeah. I so, mean, we have, we still have a few of these mm -hmm. left, um, but and we still have a bit of her yarn mm -hmm. left, obviously. But yeah. well, a lot of customers wanted to make jumpers. So sweaters, yes, didn't we'll they? get so some DK. DK is mm -hmm. a really good idea for mm -hmm. and maybe some minis. Mm -hmm. And some yep. minis. minis. Yep. But still. We'll but still have, the BFL. We'll have this because mm -hmm. yep. I really do like this. Yeah, it's a it's a nice nice compliment to your collection. And what a collection. The store <laughs> is beautiful. If you haven't been here in person, luckily I have a tiny bag, so I can't take too much <laughs> We're going to find a few things for you to take home, though. <laughs> um, um, yes, yeah. so we were talking, so to just... Because Hannah does like to just be inspired, so we, we're sending her with a couple of um, oh, thank you. images. Oh, yes, yeah, the images, yes. We'll, we'll, right. yeah, yeah, we'll send yeah. some things with you, too. <laughs> right. But um, some yeah. images, and so that'll be so fun to see. This is a really good idea. When it comes yeah. back. Because mm -hmm. I think um, I don't have a set menu 
of colours that I, I do. I like to have um, a custom collection for each retailer in each collection. Which I really didn't know that when mm. we got mm -hmm. everything, but I was so excited you know, the, this was going to be this custom collar. Yeah. And then she told us when she got here that pretty much every color we have is a custom color. Yeah. You cannot mm -hmm. get these yeah. anywhere else. Yeah. So Definitely. once she dyes them, she dyes them. And that's it. And that's wonderful. It, it, it is fun. fun. It keep, and it, as long as I can keep doing that, I will. Mm -hmm. um, and um, yeah, we're just... What were we saying again? How did we get onto that? I can't remember now. <laughs> I don't know. We were starting to talk about our inspiration. Yeah. Um, and yeah. The, how you are, get inspired by yeah. Yeah. things. So, um, yeah. So, no, it fits your fits your shop nicely, mm -hmm. I think. It's good. I think yeah. I'm, I'm well, glad you were able to come uh, and see it. For our next collection, just to kind of give you a hint. Teaser. Yes. We've, um, we've picked a couple of what we think are iconic uh, Montana artists um yeah. and so one i think for our sweater or uh, the dk collection which might be more appropriate for sweaters is um if you've heard of russell chatham he is a montana artist and he was it's okay i know how it's pronounced <laughs> yeah. um from yeah. livingston and he had a unique style um you know he had beautiful paintings and lithographs that always had i just always kind of refer to it to as sort of a milky film over the whole thing just like the mm. fog it'll the fog is it'll right be. there so yeah mm. and then for our um yep. dathliad uh, collection uh, we thought more intense bright colors and um, yeah, I'm from saturated. Sydney, Montana, and there is an artist named Jerry Cornelia. He passed away last year um, that we thought maybe we would use his work mm -hmm. as inspiration. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of you probably know who he is. So he's yeah. really fun and whimsical. So I know that those will be fun too. Yeah. So we'll, we'll pick the image and then I'll take sort of a collection of colors out of the image mm -hmm. and, and, and put them all on the arm. It'll be really, really fun. I'm very it's excited. It's a very fun good. Yeah. We'll, we'll post the picture. Yes. Sure. Yeah. It'll be oh, great. Yeah. That's going to yep. be fun. Really yeah. exciting. Um, yeah. Okay. And then you were talking about how, first of all, um, your people we know and you know, mm -hmm. and that is so fun. Mm. But some of um, some of Hannah's yarn has appeared in you know quite a few designs over the years too, and so yeah, we just thought we would throw some of those mm -hmm. designers that you would recognize for, for sure. For you yeah. all to look up, and um, anyway, it's fun to see that. And mm. so, yeah, that's that's always. I mean, that's amazing for us when designers use our yarn. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I'll will um, send yarn to them and hope that one day they'll use it. Or um, more lately, we've sort of conversed about what they want in specific really? colors, mm -hmm. and they have a project in mind that mm -hmm. they'll they'll use our yarn for. And that's always so exciting for us. Uh, just to so. interrupt, we have a couple of comments. Uh-oh. And oh, um, okay. they're good ones. So um, Mark Clark said, very nice lady. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much. That sounds like a Marcus comment. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. So that was funny. Really yeah. nice. So uh. yay. Um, uh. So, So I think, was this kind of recently this one uh, that was we had a couple people last um, year get I some think. yarn for that Two years project ago with Toby. so this you did some kits right yes. i mean you said you were kind yeah. of going crazy yeah, with that yeah that was so this class. is um the lace and fade boxy from hohi i could see that being because you know she's yeah the quite the following yeah, yeah. yeah the way <laughs> the boxy, your colors are the boxy just was huge beautiful. wasn't yeah, it yeah the boxy was and, huge and yeah. so she um, rejigged the design so, to put the lace in with the silk mohair strand and then a fade. Mm -hmm. So I live in Adelaide and, and Hohi lives in Buenos Aires and it's the same latitude, so oh. 34 degrees south. Mm -hmm. And um, so that is the name of the fade that, that I sent her. Oh, it's pretty. And that's pretty. what she did with it. I love it's it. It's so cool to see, you know, you just, you have your ideas and you send something and then you see what comes out of yeah, it. It's, yeah, that's it's beautiful. Really good. So a couple of yeah, a couple of people went home with um with some, some fades, kits yeah. for that. Yeah. yeah. We did I mean amazing to be able to pick oh, some yeah, great that's fun out of the Dathliad. So and then Melanie Berg has some great great designs and this shawl is called mm -hmm. Ghost Dancer. Yeah. And that one she designed using your yarn. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was a really interesting collaboration. She was really specific about the colours that she wanted. And so um, I think we have 
and yeah. wanted a color similar. Yes, we can. Right here. We made a few kits for that blue. yesterday. Mm. And That's then we, we, we complemented with an undyed from one of your right. other colors. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then yeah. I think we added that. And then, and then we had this a as well. Oops, that's upside oh, down. Oh, yeah, right. That yep. one. And yep. Pretty. An undyed, yeah. So yeah, because if you look by her neck, there's a brighter mm. blue, like, mm. little check area there. Mm. There's lots this of color has photos. some beautiful oh. red in there. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, okay, and then socks over the years. Mm -hmm. So Tracy Miller, the Grocery Girls, used your yarn, and that yeah. is Hello, Hello Sunshine. Sunshine. That's a sweet little pattern. Yeah, they, they were they were really fun. And I've made lots of different kits with maybe two minis um, as well, if people like to have the toes and the cuffs complemented as well as the heels. So, <clears throat> and that's a really nice beginner sock pattern as well. It's very well written. very pretty, Pat. very pretty. Yeah, really nice. And Magnolia Socks by Helen Stewart. Yes. So she yeah. is from Australia, right? She is Australian mm -hmm. and was in, in London for many years and she's back in okay. Queensland. So, and a prolific designer. So her, so her design company is Curious Handmade. And so, really beautiful patterns. And Pebble Beach, we have a sample of that. That's one of her patterns. Yeah. There's quite a few um, Advent mm -hmm. um, yeah, big, mini skiing kind yeah. of projects that yeah. she does. So there's the habitation mm -hmm. throw, the anthology oh, yep, throw. Mm -hmm. Just really good ideas for mm -hmm. using up your Advent minis or your stash mm -hmm. minis as well. Uh, leftovers. There's yeah. a very pretty, I, I noticed it last year, um, a lightweight throw using stash or minis mm -hmm. yeah um but i just think in the summertime you know just having a little throw on your chair mm -hmm. out even outside would well, be with lovely the, yeah in an ideal world in montana in the ac in montana <laughs> and but i think in australia it's probably well sometimes you want something over your shoulders mm -hmm. in the evening yeah if it gets windy. well maddie yeah. um i made maddie <laughs> maybe a, not in a blanket <laughs> and i'm like i don't know when she's really going to use it she's like well, when crank I want to use it, I, I just, yeah. yep, I crank up the AC. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, and then this mm -hmm. one, did we write it down? That's oh, it's the Wave right Crest. Oh, yeah. Wave, Wave Crest. Crest by Libby Johnson. Okay. Yeah, yeah I love this. gorgeous. And that's fingering, right? Yep. Yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah. We had a few people collect um, skeins for that one as well yesterday. That is pretty. Very pretty. Mm. Yeah. And then um, we oh. were just oh, sorry. Katrine, uh, Katrin, who was here yesterday, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. she has a question. Hmm. Um, she said, it was so nice to meet you yesterday. And may I ask, unless it's already been mentioned, how did you come up with the name Circus Tonic? Ah, okay. Well, we sort of touched on it before. So our surname is Gin, and a lot of people mispronounce it mm -hmm. as Gin. So I was sort of thinking of... Um, you know how to bring that in and so that's the tonic gin and tonic which is apparently your favorite drink yes Navar, yes it? Yeah. it is <laughs> and any um, day of the week also tonic can have the meaning of a salve or a remedy for um mm, you know course, whatever and when i had you know all the little kids my mum would come to the front door and she'd be like what's happening in the circus you know and all right say welcome <laughs> to the circus <laughs> So a circus, I was very much, when I started this, living right in the middle of a circus. So circus tonic, that's sort of, you know, knitting is a remedy for this crazy life. You sit down, you have a few moments. And mm -hmm. I actually used to be a quilter and I couldn't um, have my back to the room at the sewing machine with the kids anymore. So that's when I started knitting. And um, it was perfect. I could just let the crazy happen around me. Circus. But I would always yeah, be that. doing something that mm -hmm. I would be you know, getting a sense of achievement from and and that's when I started the knitting and then about two years later I started dyeing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so Circus Tonic Handmade, that's how um That's great it, it came about. Yeah. That's really so, good. Uh, I like that. Stay. <laughs> I like that a lot. Um we have a connection with our first guest teacher for Yarn Bar was Anna Maltz back in what, twenty eighteen? Yep. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> And Anna has, we have a couple of her books still in the shop. And um, we were just chatting about that with you, getting to know you. And you said, oh, she's a good friend. And um, so, surprise. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And then you've got yeah. some of her yarn was featured in one of these patterns yeah. that, in the book, yeah, which I'm, is wonderful. That's right. And she mentions she stayed at our house for a couple of weeks, one trip in Australia. And 
the but trembling sweater. That's a yeah. really nice design. <clears throat> really beautiful. Yeah, it's yeah. beautiful. It and was that is, that's that's a fingering white sweater as well. So and then she's marled the sections. Yeah. It's so fun. Yeah, and that's I mean I I just love that. I really really do. Yeah. And then yeah. um, there was something else I was going to say, but I can't remember what it was. Well, it's just oh. funny that we all I usually know. can read your mind, but not today. <laughs> what, how many, you know, people, crossovers. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I recently was lucky enough to go to Shetland Wool Week and, you know, meeting people there who are customers of yours. And, and, and there's just so many connections. I love that. Is that kind of how you found us? Um, well, I'd followed you on Instagram for quite a long time. And... And I possibly even did because uh, one of my other dyer friends, um, Kelly, Miss Clicklack, had visited you mm -hmm. years ago. And probably that's why I've and maybe, followed you on Instagram since then. So. And maybe when Anna was here too, because yep. she was pretty yep. active on, on Instagram at that yep. time. And yep. that's, that's pretty funny. Yep. Another designer that you really like and we've been inspired by is um, Ellie. Oh, yeah. 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 Skein Deer. Skein Deer. Yeah. Oh, I was going to bring some mittens. Mm. I forgot. Um, so, yeah. I mean, she's. I met her in London a couple of months ago as well, and um, I followed her for for years. I love that aesthetic and you know the sort of color work. And she introduced me to the sort of woolly wools and sort of said, "Okay, it's time you start looking at." I mean, we love all different types of yarns, but I guess as knit as you you change your aesthetic and your preference over the years mm. as you learn to knit new things and she said try try Rolma phenol garn and I'd never tried it before and uh, she actually sent me because you can't we, at that time we couldn't mm -hmm. buy it in Australia but there are one or two places you can now and um, she sent me a package of them and that was it mm -hmm. I just loved it from then on and um, yeah and then I saw that you guys are often inspired by her and you have your phenol garn here so Yep, I was over, very excited. Over almost to see ninety it. colors, mm -hmm. so just amazing. Or more. Yeah, and um, so so that was a fun connection mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, that is fun. Yeah. I love it. Love yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, right. do you have your little project you're working on? I actually I've packed everything. Oh, oh shoot. I know. Oh. I know it's crazy. She's, I, make, she's mm. making is it a cowl or a hat? Um well I was sort of leaving it open, but I think it's gonna be a hat. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can go and get it now <clears throat> if you want, but it's our new merino possum blend and yeah, possum. these guys have loved <clears throat> it. Oh, um, it's really it's, soft. We'll try to get New some. Zealand. Yeah, yeah, I'll so try and hard, get some. It's hard to get that base. It, it's just hard to get enough, you know, for everybody mm. and, and getting it over <laughs> from New Zealand, but I will try, definitely. But it is amazing. <laughs> it would be fantastic for Montana. Mm -hmm. It really would be. It's super warm, um, a really good sustainable brand and, and yarn. So, yeah. I know what I was going to say. So, um, Andrea, the Fruity Knitting Podcast. Ah, uh, yes. You yeah. were on that one quite early on, it sound, sounds like. I think it was probably 2018. Your kids were really little. And, yeah, yeah, they were little and Madeline was traveling in Australia. And um, she came and we did an episode together. So mm -hmm. we did a planning day and then we did an actual filming day. And we got the tick of approval from Andrea. So it was lucky. <laughs> yeah, we'll look so, that up. I, that's a nice podcast. I think it's yeah. in the it's, 60s, I think. it's some, some The time. number, not yeah. in the year yeah, 60s. Yeah, not the year 1960. <laughs> no, back in the number. 60s when my kids were little. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and then we've had the wool kitchen uh, yarn mm -hmm. just as a pop up. Um, Her yarn was one of the ago. first hand dyed yarns I ever bought. Okay, yeah, that is that's fun. Yeah, and that East London collective of of artists, um, you know, there's so many smart, incredible people around that area. So I loved going to visit that with Ellie in September. It was so exciting. Yeah, That's great. It. Yes, I yeah. We can't thank you enough for coming oh, to Billy. It's been so good. I'm so <laughs> glad I came. I've had a lovely time. So thank you for hosting me. I'm, and yeah, yeah, it was it was so much fun. And um, and she's she's really not gone yet. So yep, her plane doesn't leave. I won't. <laughs> yes, I would say if you can make it in by lunch time, <laughs> yep, like yep. noon, you might yeah, get a yeah. chance to see her and you know talk to her and help maybe plan a little project mm -hmm. with her mm -hmm. which yeah, she 
she knows your yarn. Yes, like the Yana's been yeah. quite yeah. helpful in the shop. I've yeah. <laughs> figured out where everything she's is She's helped now. a couple yeah, customers who weren't shopping for her yarn, so. Yeah, <laughs> that's been really, really nice. Oh, but the shop is just beautiful, and I've loved, you've got twinkly lights in the front, and, mm -hmm. you know, having Christmas lights that you can see by 4 p.m. is a real novelty for me, because, you know, we <laughs> like doing Christmas, but it's light when till the sun... 10 or well, probably 9 30 10 sometimes oh, it'll be because in brisbane oh, it's, it's, it's like yeah. it's dark at 6 30 like yeah. all the time so in, in adelaide the sun sets over the sea right right near at the mm -hmm. house so um i either have to let the kids stay up way too late so they can see the christmas lights or i just don't do them <laughs> oh, huh. so it's been really cozy and lovely in here oh good um so, yeah. Too bad we didn't don't have snow. any snow. I know. I, I, know, I, know. I looked out my window it this almost, morning and I was like, no. It almost <laughs> snowed yesterday, I think. Yeah. But. So then you're going to head down to the Denver area to yes, this afternoon. today I am. And um, then I head on to Texas okay. as well. Mm -hmm. And then I rejoin my family in Nevada for Christmas. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. Fun. yeah. Um, when will you be back to Nevada? Uh, Saturday, I think. Okay. So yeah. And when will you be back to your house? Uh, we actually get home on New Year's Eve. Okay. Oh, yeah. So long. It's yeah. A long so it's a, it's a good trip, and mm -hmm. um, you know we've never been to the states before. So we I took the kids to Disneyland last week, <laughs> and um, you know the aunties. We all got on every ride. It was it was a lot of fun. You trip know, it was trip up, trip of a lifetime that forever. Yeah. They will, yeah. and yeah, I don't think fun. they realize yet how special it all mm -hmm. has been. Until I I think they it's get really good and... though that they are old. They're all old enough mm. to remember yes. and carry their own yeah. suitcases, yeah. right? Yeah, definitely, <laughs> and they like to do that. And yeah. also go on all the rides, like when we were there. Yeah, you got to be a certain ago, height. Yeah, they wouldn't have been able to. Oh, right. And I, I did see a few heartbreaking things where these kids are like on their tiptoes trying to get to the line and they were like, no. Oh, so, shoot. No, it's been a, a great trip, a perfect timing for our family. And yeah, but thank Fun. you so much for having me. Yeah, you're, you're welcome. Thank you. you are thank so you welcome. Much. So I think yeah. that about wraps it up, you guys. Okay. So uh, we are super excited and we hope you will join us Next week, we'll find out who wins one I of know. our beautiful uh, yeah. skeins. Yay. So thank you. Okay, you guys okay. have to chat Okay, for a we'll while chat. I, I there go? is an ambulance outside. That's kind of oh, strange. No. I wonder what's happening. Huh. What's, huh. Hopefully not for any of us. It's not <laughs> no. for any of us, but yeah, anyway. It's like Mrs. 